So, Tim, you're not a Christian, but you just told me you watch our videos. Yes. Are you serious? Yes. And which I love, I love them. I also like when people uh, come up in Huntington Beach and you interview them. Why aren't you a Christian? Um, I think that a lot of the the things that came about Christianity were all from Paul, Paul's ideas, not necessarily Jesus' ideas. So, so it wasn't Jesus' idea to get crucified on a cross for the sin of the world? Well, that was his idea. Well, that was a Roman's idea. No, it was predestinated. God, in foreknowledge, knew that it would happen. That's what the scriptures say. And the reason he came was to suffer. And he said that right from the beginning, that he had, he had a mission. And he says, I'm in heaviness until that's accomplished. So that's what, the, that's what his, the incarnation was all about. And Jesus kept saying to his disciples, I'm going to be taken by wicked hands and crucified and rise again the third day. And they didn't have a clue what he was talking about. The natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God. And even when he was taken and crucified, they freaked out and left him. And it's because they hadn't been born again. The moment you're born again, God will open the eyes of your understanding. Everything will be different. The sky will look different. You know, Declaration of Independence. That was signed, I think, was it 1763 or something like that. That was a declaration. They didn't say to Britain, we're thinking of becoming independent. They said, this is a declaration. It's all over. You know, we're going our own way. Declaration. And the Bible says, the heavens declare the glory of God. It's a declaration. So every atheist, the minute he looks at the sky, he knows intuitively that God exists. So he's without excuse. So you believe in God's existence? Uh, I'm more agnostic than atheist. Okay, so what do you got in your hand? Uh, my artwork that I do. Oh, dear, if I said to you, I don't know if anyone did that. It happened by itself. You think that's kind of strange because it's got design. That's a turtle. Oh, you intuitively know that God exists because of creation, and you also know that he requires morality. Is that right? That God requires morality? Yeah, because that's what keeps you away from him. See, you love darkness, hate the light, neither will you come to the light, lest your deeds be exposed. If you come to Christ, do you know where you have to stop? Where you have to stop? No. Yeah, you just got to give up your fornication and your, and your pornography and your own independent self-will. You've got to turn from who, sin. Who said I watch porn? Oh, let me ask you then. No. <laughs> Best not I ask? I don't need, I don't need porn. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore? No. <laughs> You've got your own little personal... <laughs> Thing going on. Seriously, that's what will stop you coming to Christ. It's your love for sin. And if you say, God, I just love sin, please help me. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God. Renew with me a right spirit. He'll do that. Now, how do you match up to the commandments? You've watched the video, seen us go through the commandments. Sure, sure. Have you lied and stolen? Sure. You're a lying thief? Yeah. Blasphemer? Yeah. Fornicator? Yeah. An adulterer at heart? Uh, yeah. So if you were to die tonight and God gives you justice, you'll end up in hell. That grieves me. We've known each other for about 20 minutes, and I love you. I care about you. And the thought of you ending up in hell actually horrifies me. And so I'm pleading with you today, please come to your senses. Get up out of the pigsty of sin and say, God, I'm, I'm, I'm but lost. Doesn't, but doesn't God judge everyone individually? Yes. Like, did you tell him what I'm doing today? What are you doing today? Handing out clothes to the homeless on my days off. Okay, how many times will you have to do that to earn everlasting life? I've done it about a thousand times. So how, when will you get to the point where you say, I'm now going to heaven? It's not going to happen. It can't happen. I'll tell you why. God's a judge, and what you're seeking to do is slide him ten bucks. Okay, can I ask you something? Yes. I have asked to hear, because I've gone to meetings and things like that, I've asked to hear um, from God. I've never heard, I always hear these people, oh, I heard this voice, or I heard this, or I heard that. I've never once heard any inkling that God exists. Let's back up a minute. Okay. The tongue you're using to speak with, the eyes you're seeing with, the brain you're thinking with, the blood that's running through your veins, the bones that are holding you up, the skin that's holding it in, all come from God. Every hair on your head is a gift from Him. And so He gave you life, and you've blasphemed His name. And what you're trying to do is bribe him by giving clothes to the homeless. God, look at me, I'm being good. The Bible says it's not by works of righteousness that he saves us. It's just according to his mercy that he saves us. And so instead of trying to slip the, slip the judge five bucks, just ask for his mercy. And the Bible says God is rich in mercy, and he provided a way for you to be forgiven your sins. I think I'm a generally good, I think I'm a generally good person. No, you're not. You're a lying, thieving, blasphemous, fornicating, adulterer at heart. That was in my past. Everything's in your past. Even what you just said then is in the past. Exactly. Try that in a court of law. Rob the bank, rape the woman. It's in the past, judge. Let me go. It's not going to happen.
Listen to what Jesus said. He said, You are they who justify themselves before men, but God knows your hearts. For that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of God. You're good by man's standard, but not by God's perfect, holy standard. And so what you've got to do is say, look, I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to cover my tracks. I'm like Adam running from God. And all you need to do is call on God's mercy and you'll save you because of the cross of Christ. Jesus took the punishment. You don't have to punish yourself. You don't have to do good works. Don't have to sit on hard pews. Give money to church. But what about this? What about this? Um, like priests or murderers or thieves or criminals and all these people that you're saying, you know, they can ask for forgiveness at the end and then they get to go into heaven. Or someone like me, not that I'm great or perfect or anything, but someone like me who's giving time to the homeless, giving time to my friends, giving time to work, giving time to, you know, relationships are going to go to hell because, because we don't necessarily believe. No, not Doesn't at all. Sense. Doesn't make sense. You don't go to hell not because you don't believe. You'll go to hell because of lying, stealing, blasphemy, fornication, well, adultery of the heart. Things you do when you're a, a young person like a child. Okay, when you are lusting as a child, is it stopped and you're no longer lusting anymore after women? It's still the same. You're probably worse if you're a normal male. You can't help it. You're a slave to sin, like Jesus said. But that's just human nature, though. Yeah, and it's, it, that is. it's human nature to lie, steal, lust, fornicate, be selfish, and to try and justify yourself. Oh, D, the, the hardest route to get rid of is the tree of self-righteousness. Someone who keeps saying, I'm a good person, I do good works, I do this, I do that. On Judgment Day, it'll be meaningless. If you open my wallet and take out one dollar, you're as much a thief as if you take out a hundred dollars. That which you steal is irrelevant. And all I'm trying to get you to do is see that sin is not serious in your eyes, but in God's eyes, it merits the death sentence. And you have a multitude of sins. I have a multitude of sins. Really quick, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where we post two new encouraging videos every single day. We also have many more resources available on livingwaters.com. Thank you so much. Mine are covered, yours are not. I'm forgiven, you're not. I'm wearing a parachute, you're not. And I'm saying, stop justifying yourselves. Nothing you can do can earn God's favor. You can't earn everlasting life. Lift your hands and say, I surrender God, forgive my sins. You proved your love by Christ dying on the cross. And I need his forgiveness. I need his blood to wash me clean. And if you'll repent and trust in Jesus alone, not your good works, but just trust in Jesus, God will forgive you because of his death and resurrection. He'll grant you everlasting life. And you, you'll give up this trying to earn heaven. You know, that's exactly what all the great religions do, exactly what you're doing. Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, they try and do things to merit eternal life. You can't buy it. I mean, how much could you buy an eye for? How much are your eyes worth and your brain? And you're saying everlasting life, I can get that by giving things to the homeless. So just give up the battle. Not just the homeless, everybody. Yeah, okay, you give clothes to everyone, you know. <laughs> I give happiness. I give happiness to everyone. Oh, well, I do the same thing when I leave. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what do you think about what we talked about? I love it. I love you. I love your show. I love what you're doing here. If you change one person for the for the good, that's that's great. No, I want you to get saved. I want you to get saved today. I want you to repent today and trust in Jesus. Okay? Think about this seriously. If you're gonna die tonight, you'd think about it seriously, and you could. You can have an aneurysm in your sleep, car accident, heart attack. You just don't know when you're going to go. And this is eternity. So I'll leave you with the words of Jesus. Watch it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul. And one more verse. This is Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. For by grace are you saved. Grace is unmerited favor. For by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man boast. You see, people boast of their good works and say, this is going to get me to heaven. This is what I've done. Uh, you stay and listen to the preaching, okay? I will. I will. Love you. <laughs>